All right, hello there. Part three, C++. I divided this into three steps. First, we're going to set up CMake, Eigen, and PyBind 11 so that we can compile code easily and we have with Eigen a nice matrix algebra library we can use and we can have Python wrappers with PyBind 11. Second, we're gonna prepare a C++ skeleton and integrate it with the tests that we already created in Python. And at this point, it won't be working, but at least the tests will call our C++ code. And finally, we're going to populate the common filter code into the C++ skeleton. And when we run our tests, we will be able to test if this uh, step was done correctly. Let's get started. Here I have the Python code that we created in the previous video. What I'm gonna do is create a C++ folder and here I'm gonna touch a CMake list file because we're gonna use CMake and start Google code, Visual Studio code, and edit the CMake list file. Okay, let's put some project name. This is important so that CMake doesn't complain when we call it. And now, before doing anything, we need to have PyBind11 and Eigen. So for that, let's search for, oh, I have Eigen already here open, so let's get Eigen. I'm gonna get the source code, and let's put those libraries in the third party folder. So that's for Eigen. Press it. We're going to move it to a folder that makes more sense and remove the bz file. So now what we have is the eigen folder in the third party folder. Next, we need pyband11. So we're going to go search for pyband11 in GitHub and we will clone repository. All right, so now we have in third party both Eigen and PyBand11. Back to CMake, we need to do two things. First, for PyBand11, at subdirectory, third party, PyBand11, and for Eigen, include directories, third party, Eigen. The reason for this is that for PyBand11, we need more than the include files. We need some CMake functions that are defined that will help a lot to, to write CMake, the CMake file. And for Eigen, uh, we only need the uh, header files, so this is enough. Okay, now so far, <laughs> this does absolutely nothing, only setting things up. So what I'm gonna do is go to the PyBand11 CMake documentation is very very clear you can see here that the minimum example contains basically what I already wrote plus we need to add this line in order to create a PyBind module and we can call this module for example KSPP and wrappers.cpp, let's make it be the source file for now. Now, if I try to run this, it's gonna complain because this file doesn't exist. So we are gonna create a file, wrappers.cpp. But for now, we'll contain some basic example of PyBind. And for that, we're gonna go to first steps and here get the simplest example of PyBind11. Okay. So this example, what it does is to create a function that adds to integers, and then it creates a Python module that will wrap that function. So we'll, we will have a way to call the C++ function from Python. Now, one thing to change here is that this PyBind module is called example, but our module is called KSPP. So 
we want to change that. Maybe we want to change the description. And I think that's okay. So now, if I go back to our terminal, I'm here in the CPP folder, you can see the CMake file, the wrappers, third party. I'm gonna create a build folder. I'm gonna call CMake. Okay, CMake passed, now make. And now you can see that it created this file that Python will be able to import. It's right here. So now if I go Python 3 and I say import KFCPP, Good, and now if we do dot add two and three, we get five. Perfect, so this is working. If you're still not convinced, we can do another example. We can um, do something like this. So that we know that we are being called. Now we do make again. Ah, yes, of course, is IJ. Okay, the Python import KSPP. Okay. Yeah. Ah, sorry, Python three. Two and three, five, and we get this. It's being called two and three. It looks ugly because probably I forgot this. All right. Ah, before I forget, before we go into the next step, I'm gonna go back to our CPP folder here, and I prepared a Clang format file. Then I'm gonna copy here. Why? Because I'm gonna use Qt Creator and I want Qt Creator to automatically format the file when I save it so that my code looks clean. So you will see that now here I have a Clang format file, sorry, like that. And now what I can do is I can use Qt Creator to open. Here Qt Creator is asking me if I want to import the build for folder that I already have because it can read the CMake list file. I'm gonna say yes. You can see that now it read automatically this wrappers file. And if I um, mess up with the format and I save, Qt Creator is automatically calling Clank format every time I save my file. So that's pretty convenient. And I can even build from here. Yes, plus I get auto-completion, so I could do printf, da da da, and that's very convenient. All right, next step. 